Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 6, 2022. Well, doggone it, those bears found a little bit of inspiration yesterday, as I kind of mentioned the possibility in yesterday's morning prep with uh, the Brainerd comments um, willing to uh, be much more aggressive on fighting inflation. And as we heard from Jerome Powell a while back, actually willing to sacrifice market growth uh, for uh, the battle on inflation, which is something that the market is just not used to. And so they kind of got caught a little bit by surprise yesterday in that move. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Uh, honestly, I'm humbled every day that people show up to watch these videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Let's take a look at the price action of these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the day. First off, we had a pretty ugly uh, selling candle come in there. We uh, shot up about 120 points early on in the day and then quickly reverse that uh, back to the downside. Now, the good news in this is although those bears were inspired, they didn't break any price support. So we still have bullish price patterns here in the index charts. Unfortunately, um, we've got a little bit of pressure on this morning, as you can see in the pre-market pushing down. And we've got those Fed comment or Fed minutes later this afternoon. Um, who knows if that will inspire bullishly or bearishly. But what we definitely need if you're a bull in the market is we need to see those bulls defend these price support levels here in the chart. Because I think if we break down below there, um, psychologically could have a little bit of an impact here on the market. So we need to see those bulls defend. However, if you're a bear, um, then that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see that push on down through that area. And I think if we were to come down through that area, we may come down as far as right in here to test. And the reason I say that is because we'll drop down through that 50 day moving average um, if we fail there. And we'll probably look for those next levels of price support in the chart to maybe hold us up um, if those bears really engage here. So watch that close. Now, if those bulls can find that inspiration here in the market and push back up, we're going to look at some resistance levels right through there um, that could challenge those bulls back to the upside. Then let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Very similar situation. And what I want to point out here on all of these charts is that we really have lower highs showing up here now with some bearish candle patterns. But once again, I still have to hold that true to the statement that we are still holding in bullish patterns here um, on the chart. And we haven't really failed yet um, in the pattern. Now, I will say this gap down this morning in the SPY, breaking this little support is a bit on the bearish side. But if we can hold um, some support levels here in the chart, we may still have that opportunity to bounce back. I'll be at the fact that we have that little bit of a downtrend that's starting to show right there um, now that we've made a lower low after a lower high. So that is a little bit of a problem for us. But we've got that 50 day moving average down here. So keep in mind, if if those bears continue to push, we could come down here and test that 50 day moving average. We don't have a whole lot of price support right in that area. There is a little bit and um, it'll be a test to see whether or not that 50 will hold us. Again, if we fail there, um, then it's probably a pretty ugly sell-off um, down to some next levels of price support in the chart. If those bulls can be inspired, well, once again, we're going to have to look to that lower high maybe to supply some price resistance in that chart. So watch carefully. If we take a look at the NASDAQ here, that QQQ, uh, by golly here, QQQ, now showing a little bit of a problem here. Yesterday, those sellers were able to hold this little price support in here. 
this morning it looks like we're going to going to break that at the open and unfortunately guys we have selling um, there was selling in Asian markets last night um, almost all the indexes except Shanghai were down we've got red across the board in Europe and unfortunately tech is taking the biggest hit uh, across all of those um, all of those markets and um, getting a pretty ugly pullback here this morning now that being said we still have the opportunity that those bulls could defend in here and bounce that right back up so watch that in there if we do officially fail this area I would look for some price support down in this area of the chart noticing that we've got that 50-day moving average right there to maybe help us defend um, that area so giving those bulls a little bit of area target to defend if they fail there um, unfortunately it could get pretty ugly if they were to fail there in the Nasdaq and start pushing things back down once again if those bulls can find reason for inspiration we're going to look at this lower high and remember lower high lower low um, that's officially the beginning of a downtrend there so we need those bulls to really defend if you're if you're a bull here in the market you really need to see them start to fight here pushing that back up so watch that pretty close and then let's take a quick peek at our um, IWM IWM had a pretty rough day yesterday uh, selling off strongly uh, but it did eventually prove to hold right there at that precipice right there on that support but um, we are seeing that little bit of selling here this morning and breaking down below this is not a problem if those bulls come right back in and defend real quickly and push us right back up unfortunately this will constitute in this chart a lower high and a lower low so we're breaking this support and that starts that potential downtrend and that possibility that we could move on down here now we have a little tiny bit of support right through here in the chart and um, if that uh, does not hold um, looks like we are destined for a retest of the lows here in IWM so watch that closely if those bulls cannot defend now there are some reasons out there for some of that bearishness first off um, a hawkish fed willing to cut balance sheet willing to aggressively raise interest rates um, is just the kind of thing that could pop a bubble um, in the market and unfortunately um, they're being forced to kind of be aggressive on that inflation really at the worst possible time now if we take a look at those bond rates one a, a good piece of news here today is that the two-year and 10-year is no longer inverted at least at the moment the two-year is pricing in at 2.56 substantial increase however in that price and the 10-year has rallied as well to 2.63%. But here's the bad news. The bad news is that the five-year is dramatically um, inverted above the 10 and the 30 year the five year coming in this morning at 2.76 percent with the 10 year at 2.63 and the 30 year at 2.65 and that does signal some problems here in the market and probably uh, it, it continues that forecasting for a um, a recession later on this year let's take a look at our VIX here this morning now our VIX um, rallied back up and like I said that 20 handle in this area that 20 area right in here is a pretty good support resistance level in the chart and we ended up closing the day back above that level in the chart but remember just closing above there isn't significant enough to make a difference what we need to do if you're a bear is not only close above there but then prove to hold that area as support um, creating that higher low in there so still um, I'm gonna have to say there there's nothing in the charts that say run for the doors just yet but there is just that little bit of hint of, of problems here in the market that we'll want to keep an eye on now if we can reverse and and there's every reason to believe we could just completely reverse and go the other way because of the way these candle patterns are we 
push all the way down and then reverse push all the way up there'd be no reason why we couldn't see a reverse and push all the way back down um, the way this market is acting so watch that 20 handle area in the chart if it does hold a support that could be a little bit of a signal for us that those bears have re-engaged here in the market and then let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 has been signaling to us that we were short-term overbought in the market and although we we have pulled back and they've been pretty painful pullbacks because we were so overextended in the short term that um, made those made any selling a little bit on the painful side in some pretty big numbers in the indexes um, but that being said we've got a pretty um, well, interesting situation here in our T2122. Remember, T2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market. It only tells us when we are in those um, overstretched situations, either bearish or bullish. And as you can see, we were very overstretched here um, in this market. Clear up here uh, almost um, at 100 in the chart. And as you can see, a little bit of back and forth here in the market has created some uncertainty here um, in that pullback. But we still have those supports in the, um, in the um, index charts that could inspire those bulls to defend. However, um, let's notice that gapping down this morning, we're probably going to be pushing T2122 down, but we have a pretty substantial move yet to become short-term oversold in the market. So watch that carefully as uh, we gap down this morning. If those bulls find reason for some inspiration, some something in today, um, then we may have that opportunity to bounce back up and we've opened up a pretty big um, um, area here where the bulls could push back up into. So watch that pretty close. And then our T2108, T2108 pulling back. And unfortunately, guys, I've been kind of, you know, um, uh, really bullish um, there on this chart because the bulls were holding up well they kind of slipped a little bit yesterday but not so much to really just run for the doors just yet notice that we did move lower we're breaking a little bit of support here in that chart uh, with a lower high um, in there and we'll want to watch some levels of price support in here now still we closed the day with 52 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average so that's not bad uh, but we don't want to see that um, get a whole lot worse so watch that carefully as we see a little bit of selling this morning and then if we take a look at our t2107 um, same thing is true in our t2107 we were up here testing um, that downtrend um, now we've created a little bit of a lower high we're still holding some price support in here that's a good sign but if we push on down you can see that could create some problems here pretty quickly in our t2107 t2101 um, has been a little bit difficult to get anything out of because our volumes continue to be quite low and even with the selling yesterday we didn't get that major spike in um, volume yesterday so i'm not sure we're getting really good things in here on this but if those bears really start to push um, we might see that spike up here in um, T2101. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar does have a couple things we'll want to pay attention to. First off, this morning, we're going to hear from another Fed speaker. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we've got those mortgage applications. Those have been in decline. So just a little tiny increase in those um, last time uh, perked up just a little bit, but they've been pretty negative numbers. Let's take a really quick look here this morning. If I, hopefully I've got the time. We'll take a quick look at where they came in. Yeah, negative 6.3. So a little improvement over a negative 6.8 last time, but certainly mortgage applications are declining as interest rates are rising pretty substantially on homes and our home purchases, which could really slow that housing market. Uh, pretty dramatically. Um, we have a Fed speaker here at 930 and then we're going to have um, news on that petroleum status. Now 
it's hard to know how we're going to react to that petroleum status here today. So just kind of be aware. Um, obviously, our commodity prices continue to, to hold up really, really strong. And that really has the Fed on edge here. Um, uh, as you can hear from their conversations yesterday. If we take a look at um, uh, this afternoon, this is gonna be the big one of the day, and that's that FOMC meeting. Now, or er, minutes, I, I really don't think we're gonna learn anything new, but of course, we always um, have that potential where the market can, can, can get very stale, very boring in its price action after the morning, you know, pushing around. And then, um, then we get that shot of volatility when those minutes come out, so watch carefully carefully for that. Let's take a quick look. Oh, and by the way, on that calendar, as you're planning forward, one of the things that you may want to be thinking about is on Thursday, um, we have probably our most aggressively uh, talking Fed member, James Bullard, that will be speaking in the morning. If you remember last time, he was pushing for a full 1% increase in rates. I suspect he's going to continue to be rather aggressive. So in um, a more aggressive Fed talk could continue to inspire those bears. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Then let's take a quick look um, at our um, earnings calendar here today. Our earnings calendar, we've only got you know a little over 20 companies reporting. And there are some notables in here for today, um, but there's also some that just aren't really all that inspiring. So. Um, if you want to get catch the full list, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. Um, you'll want to pay attention to that. We do have a cannabis um, 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 stock reporting this morning. Keep an eye on TLRY. Um, LEVI, Levi Strauss will be reporting today. You might want to keep a close eye on um, RPM. Will be reporting today. Looks like they they have missed and disappointed here uh, this morning. So there's a few. And remember to go back and check that full list if you want to catch them all. So with that, let's quickly get to some stock setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that follows on through. Click so thumbs up buttons, leaves that brief comment. The channel is growing. As a matter of fact, we may go over 27,000 subscribers today and that's all on you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for the kind support for the channel and thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel with Buy Me A Coffee. Let's take a quick um, um, look at some stock setting up and remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would be very, very careful in um, just blindly following anyone else's trade ideas. You need to do your own evaluation, make sure you understand the risk of every trade that you take. Now let's take a look. Um, I'm going to bring up a few short um, ideas here this morning. Take a look at Ford. Oh my goodness. Ford um, definitely in a shorting pattern. Um, it's a little bit stretched in um, the down move right now and we're pushing down to some price support. So I wouldn't want to chase that right here. But if that were to uh, fall on through and hit resistance here, then I would be looking for a short. If it were to rally back and react to some resistance here, and fail, then I would be looking short on that trade. And you can take a look. We've got General Motors in that same kind of pattern looking uh, pretty darn bearish here overall. I think you might want to continue to take a look at the financials um, here in the market. The financials uh, continue to remain quite weak. Um, they tried to rally yesterday, got pushed back. And as you can see here on the XLF, we're failing here below the 50 and 200 day moving average. And that 50 is uh, very, very close to crossing down through the 200 day. The financials are likely going to experience some difficulties as these bond rates increase and the Fed pushes those rates. It's going to make it very, very difficult for them to loan um, because they were just loaning to everybody um, with those really low rates. And then I think that's just going to stop all at once. So uh, 
watch that carefully. Financials looking pretty bad. And if you take a look at some of the big guys, Citibank, 52-week um, lows here, continuing to sink. Uh, BAC, uh, uh, big old ugly um, selling um, here in that. Goldman Sachs. Uh, pushing down um, close to um, some support, but may quickly or soon break that support moving on lower. So we've got a lot of potential shorting um, opportunities in some of these financials. Um, wait for a little bit of a rally back um, before you jump in, but they're just not looking good um, here in the charts. So how about some long trades? What can we look for on the long side? Well, take a look at Cleveland Cliffs. Cleveland Cliffs, and really nice chart. This is steel, and we have seen an awful lot um, an awful lot of strength in um, anything um, commodity wise and steel in a um, nice little platform in here we've had a little trouble here um, don't be surprised if when you draw that trend notice that we may need a few more days of rest in here but keep an eye on that Cleveland Cliffs might be something to watch for I think you might want to continue to watch for uh, some of those alternative energies in there as well you you might want to take a look at um, like whoops Nova Nova continues to hang in this really um, tight um, resting area in the chart holding the higher lows holding in here above its 50-day moving average we just need a little bit of inspiration on some of these to maybe perk on through to the upside on the um, energy side take a look at XLE now XLE had a little bit of a pullback in there but there are still charts out there showing really good patterns um, in the charts take a look at Halliburton resting right in here although it pulled back yesterday if we had some uh, numbers today in that petroleum status that could support that move uh, maybe back to the upside running right into that trend here and there's a lot of charts in that sector looking quite strong so keep a close eye on those I think you might also want to keep a close eye on um, some of those areas um, in the food sector. Take a look at um, stocks like Hershey. Hershey popped up yesterday, had a little bit of pullback at the end, uh, end of the day, and we can see that um, I think everyone is probably anticipating higher food prices um, going forward um, with supply chain issues and things that are starting to creep up again in the market. So watch this right in here on Hershey. It may have to, have to rest just a little bit more before it continues on up. But remember, when the market gets spooked, defensive sector stocks, defensive sector stocks, tend to pick up remember institutions can't just sell everything they have to continue to hold stocks even through a pullback so what they try to do is they try to look for those stocks that can provide them some relative safety and some dividend yield in those moves so keep a close eye on that you might also want to take a look at you know kind of surprising um, strength the strength in Walmart here WMT again a defensive sector stock pushing up here in the chart notice that we're breaking through some resistance here again now I will say this is a very very steep upside move probably needs a rest a consolidation of some kind but keep an eye on those those defensive sector stocks are just showing lots and lots of strength there's even some coming up out of bottoms take a look at stocks like Colgate Palmolive coming up out of a bottom nice little pricing pattern here holding pushing on through yesterday to the upside might be worth keeping an eye on that um, stocks like KHC KHC had a little bit of selling yesterday from this resistance up here, but surprisingly has been overall strong. Again, another food dividend payer. Sorry, guys, that changed changed um, uh, tools on me just automatically. But um, So watch that up here. Maybe a rest or pullback into trend for those next opportunities. So if the market does get spooked, kind of keep an eye on those areas. So with that, 
I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You guys humble me every day with your kind comments. I um, I just can't say thank you enough uh, for the kind support of the channel. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here, right and early. Thursday.